Physical, emotional, equipment, or other issues may prevent a competitor from completing a stage. But if a competitor is unable to finish the course of fire, how are they scored? If a shooter chooses to not start a stage or to not finish a stage, but they are capable of starting or finishing the stage, then they are scored with a DNF. If a shooter misses a start time, for instance, they are late to the stage for whatever reason, and they cannot make up the stage within the rules set out by the match officials or match policy, they too are scored with a DNF. The same DNF penalty would apply to a disabling injury that prevents a shooter from continuing. A shooter could be scored with a DNF if they suffer from a loss of safety glasses mid-stage. We have another video covering that topic with a link in the description. Finally, any time a shooter chooses to simply quit mid-stage on their own because of a procedural or multiple misses and or malfunctions, they too would be scored with a DNF. The score for a DNF, not finishing a stage, is the same as a stage disqualification penalty, the maximum allowed time for that stage. Two stage DQs or DNFs or one of each in the same match results in a match DQ. It is important to know the threshold of applying this penalty. For instance, if a shooter picked up their rifle, found out that they did not load it, and walked off the stage without firing their final gun, that would be cause for a DNF. However, if a shooter finds that they forgot to load the rifle, discards it, and goes on to complete the course of fire, they would not receive a DNF, but only a five second penalty for each unfired round. The same is true if a shooter forgets to wear a shotgun belt. They are only scored with misses for the unfired rounds. Failure to bring enough ammunition to the line to complete a stage is scored the same as misses for any unfired rounds. I'm Branchwater Jack, hoping this adds just a little bit of clarity on dealing with DNF penalties through another quick tip from the firing line.